So a lot of people are just now discovering Trump's policy videos that he released when he was campaigning. Uh, we covered a bunch of them at the time, but now they're sort of popping back up because now that he's won, people are like, oh shit, well, let's look at the specifics of what he's going to do, right? So um, we covered his one where he's calling for war with Mexico the other day, and today we're going to cover his education plan, his education plan. So prepare yourselves. Uh, this is pretty disastrous. Let's get it. Here are 10 key ideas that will power our movement for great schools. First, we will respect the right of parents to control the education of their children. Even that, you got to interject a little bit, right? Like, uh, the parents must be able to control the education of their kids. Okay, uh, but, and I mean this sincerely, what if the parents are in a cult? What if the parents are fundamentalist religious? What if the parents have absurd ideas about, uh, you know, whatever, the Confederacy being correct? <laughs> and I mean this seriously, right? It's like, leave it up to the parents. Well, the parents aren't the teachers. They don't have a degree in this stuff. They don't actually know the history. They don't actually know the facts. So should the parents have some say? Sure. But should the parents get to control everything about the curriculum? What if the parents are easily offended and they get pissed off if they read a book in class that they don't approve of, right? It just seems like, it, that's just like virtue signaling, like, man, we love parents. Like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's just so, all right, anyway, let's, let's keep going. We will empower parents and local school board to hire and reward great principals and teachers, and also to fire the poor ones, the one whose performance is unsatisfactory. They will be fired. So this is like an underhanded attempt to be like, there should be no tenure for students, uh, for, uh, excuse me, for teachers. You should be able to fire any of them for any reason. Yeah, well, you know, it, there is a good argument for why teachers should have tenure, right? The idea of just getting rid of them on a whim, I don't know, should be a little bit uh, more complicated a process than that. It seems a little unfair to just say, I'm going to take your livelihood away like that, you know? So, but this is something that you see, right? In private schools, it's like teachers have basically no rights, no protections. They can be let go on a whim. They get paid worse. In the public schools, they get paid better. You do have protections when you get tenure, but it sounds like he's like, let's just get rid of that, right? Third, we will ensure our classrooms are focused not on political indoctrination, but on teaching the knowledge and skills needed to succeed. Reading, writing, math, science, arithmetic. He's like, we, oh, we, we need our schools to not focus on political indoctrination. What he means by that is we should indoctrinate them with right-wing beliefs. Because to him, that's not political. It's not political if you're indoctrinating them with my worldview. It's political if you indoctrinate the kids with your worldview. That's what that means. Because remember, at the end of his first term in office, he released these, like, standards for the schools. And it was all about, like, what they want to see in the schools. And, of course, it was a wildly skewed, biased version of history. It was a version of history that, like, downplayed FDR's greatness and played up Ronald Reagan's greatness. It downplayed negative things about the Gilded Age and the robber baron era. It, uh, you know, hit a lot of information, which is super crucial and important vis-a-vis -vis Jim Crow and vis-a-vis, -vis, um, you know, the Confederacy and a variety of the civil rights movement and a variety of different uh, topics. So what he means is indoctrinate them in the way I want you to indoctrinate them. And you know their thing. It's like every anything good America's ever done, that's all that counts. None of the negative things we ever did, that doesn't count. You can't hold that against us. Right. This is the way they think. And this is what they want the, the education to reflect. But again, that is a biased view of history. It's biased to downplay any negative things about the United States of America. True education has to give all of the facts and all the information. Fourth, we will teach students to love their country, not to hate their country like they're taught right now. What does that mean? Genuinely and sincerely, what the fuck does that mean? Students are not taught to hate this country. That is absurd. In fact, our little girl came home the other day and she had to do a thing on the veterans, right, on the troops. And, you know, then that started a conversation about that. The idea that they're taught to hate this country is ridiculous. I literally don't know where they get this stuff from. I think what they mean by that is, hey, you taught that we did slavery in this country. Hey, you taught that we did a Native American genocide in this country. Hey, you taught about Jim Crow. You know, or you taught about nuking Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Like, I think that's what they mean, that sometimes facts are discussed about this country and the facts sort of have a negative connotation to them. Therefore, you're teaching them to hate this country. No, we're just teaching the facts. And yeah, sometimes things have a negative connotation 
because they're negative. You, you don't get to hide or dismiss the things that you don't like to try to protect people's perception of the country and unfairly bias it in a positive direction. Again, you got to give all the information, man. But again, it's just, it's so crazy to me the way that they think. It really is. Nobody's being taught to hate this country. People are just being taught the history of this country and some things are hateable and other things are not. Fifth, we will support bringing back prayer to our schools. You know, one of the things I hate about today's Republican Party is that we have to fight battles that we've already won like 15 times. Like, and Donald Trump knows this. Maybe he doesn't, he's an idiot. Bringing back prayer to public school is literally, that's not a thing. It's wildly unconstitutional. This is a battle that's been won a thousand times over. And he brings it up like it's a new idea. Like, yeah, just bring back prayer. You literally can't. It would get slapped down in the courts in an instant. God, these people drive me crazy. We'll achieve schools that are safe, secure, and drug-free with immediate expulsion for any student who harms a teacher or another student. Seventh, we will give all parents the right to choose another school for their children if they want. It's called school choice. It's called destroying the public schools and underfunding the public schools and uh, trying to get people in private schools and making it so that education is no longer a right in this country, making it so that it's a privilege and only the wealthy people from wealthy families can afford it and others are sort of screwed. That's what it is. That's what this is. Let's just be honest about it. Eighth, we will ensure students have access to project-based learning experiences inside the classroom to help train them for meaningful work outside the classroom. Ninth, we will strive to give all students access to internships and work experiences that can set them on a path to their first job. They're going to be very, very successful. I want them to be more successful than Trump. Let them go out and be more successful. I will be the happiest person in the world. Look, I, if, if people were talking about, yeah, like apprenticeship programs, that sounds good. We should probably teach these kids a trade. That, would, that idea on its face sounds great. The problem in this context is these are the this is the same political party that is literally across the country now rolling back child labor laws in various states and having kids do dangerous work when they're like 13 years old, 14 years old. That's the problem when they say it is what they mean is, hey, we want some cheap labor we can exploit in the workplace. And that's why we want to bring these kids in there. It's got nothing to do with let's actually look out for the kids and teach them a trade and do an apprenticeship in a way that's positive and helpful. So that's why, from them, I shudder at that thought, right? I love the idea of free universal trade school. If somebody wants to go to a trade school I, and it's funded by taxpayers, I love that idea. But the way that they want to implement it, I guarantee you they would have kids that are way too young doing jobs that are way too dangerous. And the whole point is they just want to exploit that labor. But we want our children to have a great life and be successful. And 10th, we will ensure that all schools provide excellent jobs and career counseling so that high school and college students can get a head start on jobs and careers best suited to their God-given talents. This is how we will ensure a great education for every American child. And one other thing I'll be doing very early in the administration is closing up the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these people? I, the, the fact that the Democrats couldn't clobber this dude over the head with this idiocy is insane to me. And he said, it, um, he said it all the time when he was on the campaign trail. We're going to shut down the Department of Education. That's what we're going to do, folks. You're going to shut down the Department of Education. And he says it as if it's like a popular thing, like he's speaking for some sort of silent majority out there. Are you kidding me? I've never seen a poll on that, but if you did a poll on it, my guess is it's over 75% of the country is like, what are you? No, of course not. Why would you shut that down? That's insane. It's it's amazing to me. Like, the most fringe, extreme shit you can imagine, and he proposes it as if it's like, I got a brilliant idea. Like, oh my God, Jesus Christ. But this is what these people believe in. This is what these people believe in. Stop the government from doing anything and everything that is good for society, uh, and fund more of the stuff that's bad. Like, let's increase the military budget year after year, but let's eliminate the Department of Education. Thank you, Don. So anyway, uh, yeah. It goes out saying, moving forward, we're in a lot of trouble here. This stuff is not pretty. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.